Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. Rocking out whatever goals, hopes, plans, dreams, ambitions you had and are making it happen on this scorcher of a day we are having today. Holy guacamole. I actually saw a picture of, uh, it was, um, I'm just going outside to let the cool air get me and then you could, it's the them outside and it's a picture of the Terminator where the blast is just getting right through them and it's just this big heat wave going through because uh, and, and I thought that was funny because it's <laughs> it's like record temperature out there so definitely you know, make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're, you're you're putting on the sunscreen. Make sure you're taking breaks when you need to. Don't go all day every day. And uh, you know, make sure you take care of yourself because <laughs> you know, as much as extreme cold can be really bad for you, extreme heat can be really bad for you. So just make sure that you're taking the necessary precautions to help yourself. What a great day. What a great time to be alive, right? Oh man, we are at the middle of June, almost a fit or July. We are. July we are holy guacamole <laughs> I, I'm super excited uh, quickly just quickly before we get started here um, uh, doTERRA's convention tickets are on sale um, this is the event right if you're interested in uh, essential oils um, alternative medicine right natural alternative things holistic stuff like that this is definitely the event that you do not want to miss it's a it's a week-long gathering of inspiration education just a you know an overall fun time just a great time it's called connection um, actually I think I think oh I can't remember what this year is called I think it's hope actually but uh, you know it's 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 really a great time. So definitely, um, if you're interested, definitely reach out to me. Drop me a comment. Send me a message. We'll get you rocking and rolling. It's gonna be in person in Utah, but there's also an uh, an, an online live stream of it, uh, version of it. So that's uh, definitely reach out to me. We'll get you rocking and rolling. All right. Let's get into today's topic. Yes, I'm actually excited about this one because this is this is actually a topic that we never actually think about. I'm, you know, I, I like thinking about and talking about the stuff that we don't actually think about in our in our lives, right, on a daily basis. And it's not, you know, it's 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 not, you know, quote unquote, our fault. Uh, it's just that we do, right? We have very busy on the go lifestyles. We don't always have time to do everything that we want to do always. And I can tell you that, like, right away, right off the bat. I mean, you know, just 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 follow along for a real quick minute here. Um, you know, you gotta work, you gotta do the at home stuff, right? Laundry, cooking, cleaning. Um, you you gotta do the gym stuff to keep the exercise. You gotta do, you know, some sort of personal development, right? Uplifting your game. If you're trying to do a side business, right? That's a whole nother level thing. Then you've got kids. Right, and there's there's so much stuff going on. So that's why I wanted to come on and just give just give some tips, some I like what I call to here some hidden secrets, right? To find out who you really are, what you really want in life, because this is this is really a thing, um, an activity that we don't normally do on a daily basis. Everybody, you know, I, I liked what I read. Um, is that uh, you know we everybody can tell it can give us an opinion actually we talked yesterday about how to not get over pe or how to not let people's opinions dictate your life and that's it right away right people's opinions people have opinions on everything right people will give you their thoughts on everything but right you ask them to think about themselves tell me about you that's really the, the question in the in the interview process um, that that really throws you off off the railings, right? If you're looking for a new job, the one question that gets you more than anything is tell us about yourself. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> what do you mean? I'm like awesome, man. <laughs> you know, great stuff comes out of me, and I just ooze excitement all day, every day, right? But that's that's it, right? No, we, no, we don't really take the time out of our schedules to decide what we want because we don't really ever see the benefit in it, right? We're, I, and I get it, right? We're very, um, you know, result orientated people. We are, uh, we need the, the instant gratification. And, you know, for us, we can't really fathom, you know, taking a long period of time to, to accomplish something, right? And it, it's nothing more than, you know, we go to work, Today, for this week, and then next week we get paid, or in two weeks we get paid, right? Whatever it is. I worked at a, actually I remember a, a refing company that they paid once a year. 
<laughs> that was actually interesting. You got you really got to be on top of your stuff. That's when you really need to organize your life, right? So that's where I wanted to come on, give some tips to help me. Um, you know, figure out who, figure out who I. When I was figuring out who I am, right, what I want, and don't get me wrong, right. This is not something that I finished, <laughs> right. That I'm a complete. Right, I know exactly who I am, the type of person I am, and what I want out of life, and everything. So this is this is the one benefit of it, right? And this is also why we I, I feel that we don't really put any time or effort into it is because it is an ongoing, changing process, right? There are no certainties in life. There's only probabilities, and so therefore we can only control what we can control, and therefore we think that you know we're doing all that we can do, and it's nothing more than we just haven't put any time and effort into thinking about it, right? So, I mean, right, this this is for if you want to upgrade your life a little bit, if you want to get more than you are currently having out of your life, if you are 100% happy with who you are and what you have in life and, you know, things are going better than you ever thought they possibly could have, this may not be for you. But <laughs> if you don't fall into that category, I have some tips that help me. Hopefully they help you too. Hopefully you get some value out of it. Who knows? Maybe use one or two of them in your life. Help you find out a thing or two about yourself and maybe upgrade your life. Side note, water, especially on a day like this. Make sure you're drinking your water. So, let's get into it. Tip number one, organize your life. Organize it. Make a to-do list. Make tons of to-do lists. Make, make a to-do list. For your to-do list right and this one I actually have to credit Tina for this one more than anything because for me my life more often than not is in shambles for Tina her life more often than not is we'll call it organized right there's a huge difference in the two of our lives she takes notes she organizes her thoughts she puts everything into a list and she knows exactly what needs to be done at every moment during the day me I've got, a, I've got a lot of things that need to be done, and I know they need to be done. I know there's a lot because I'm, I'm constantly overthinking everything, and I'm constantly stressed out from all the stuff that's going on in my head. So I know there's a lot to be done. But do you think I ever, you know, sit down and make a list, <laughs> actually prioritize my life? No, I didn't, because that would be way too easy. Come on, let's get real here. We don't do what's easy. We do what's hard, and then we complain, right? It's the way we are. So. Tina showed me this cool thing. It's called making lists. It's an amazing invention that somebody did right when they decided to put pen on paper. It's fascinating, right? It's amazing. It's an amazing concept. And what you can do is you can write down everything that you have to do in your life. And not only what you do is you make a list for the things that you need to do, then you make a master list of all the lists that you need to check off, and then you make you know different lists for different things that you have to do. And I promise you that as confusing and as unorganized as this sounds, it is the most organized thing that I've ever seen in my life. Especially when you get somebody like Tina, right? With me, I'm just kind of jotting things down on the paper. And you know, it doesn't really work all the time, but it works more often than not. For Tina, right, she gets the word spread and everything, and it's on the computer, and it's nice and neat and organized, and you can see it. And it's not really a, <laughs> it's not really a big, um, you know, uh, conspiracy theory, if you will, as to why her life is more organized than mine. You can just tell by our lists, right, by the way that we, the effort that we put into, right. She has the effort to make sure that it looks nice. Me, I have the effort to just put it on paper, make sure that it's there. But I promise you. This is going to be a huge thing to do in your life because you can. The, once you make a list for all the things that you have to do, once you get, once you start getting out of your head, that's really what we want to do more than anything. Is we want to just get out of our heads, right? We can make problems seem so big in our heads. We need to get out of our heads and get it onto paper so that we can really see that the problem is not as big as we're making it out to seem, right? In our heads, it's and it. If we put it down on paper, chances are it's not even a problem at all, right? It could be, uh, you know, a, a learning experience, or it could be um, some sort of thing that that is is actually going to help you progress further, right? So you don't know what you don't know, and you also you can't trust your 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 memory, you can't trust your brain. You got to get it down on paper because it. it we let's get real here, right? We live very busy 
on the go lives lives and we don't always have time to get everything done that we need to but there are certain non-negotiables in life that we need to get done right so that's where the lists come in handy they help us keep us on track and let's get real here i didn't really understand the power of this but when you put things on a list and you cross that thing off, that feels so good. That's such a motivating thing. Me, now, I just do things and then put it on my list just so I can cross it off, just so it looks cool and I look like I've gotten so much accomplished. It's such a motivating factor. If you don't make lists, make lists. Use them to organize your life. Put all of the stuff going on in your life down on a piece of paper in, a, in any random order, just things that need to get done. And then come back here. If this didn't help you at all, come back here and tell me that this didn't help your life at all. It actually made your things more difficult. And I would love to hear the story behind that one. Number two, abandon the negative and then slash, right? really embrace the positive because this is what what it is right when we're I actually read a quote or not a quote but I read something the other day of we are very quick to 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 be negative right we're very quick to judge ourselves to judge other people to you know to 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 think the worst of situations and we're very slow to to celebrate our wins and to think about positive things right and to think you know positively about ourselves right and i'm i'm very bad for this too i'm i'm not going to say sit here and tell you that i'm the most positive person in the history of life all the time right i do get my negative moments i get you know, I get moments just like the rest of us, right? <laughs> Nobody's perfect. And that's really what we need to realize, right? We're not perfect creatures. We are not perfect beings. And even those quote unquote perfect people that you see on the internet, Instagram, Facebook, right? TikTok, they're, <laughs> they're not perfect. They're, they are everything photoshopped and, you know, made to look in every aspect perfect because they have to sell stuff right there it's, it's it's a sales it's a marketing tactic and it's actually put there for a reason right just as the same reason that you know there's put they, they put bigger women or or bigger people now in ads as sort of like you know your everybody is uh is is accepted right before it used to be you know super hot or super good looking um uh women right there they were they were really thin they had, you know, the big kahunas, they had the blonde hair, the blue eyes, and they, you know, they did their job. They sold what they were supposed to sell, right? And that really has made us self-conscious, you know, to say the least, about really everything that we do in, life, in our lives, right? And it's nothing more than, you know, when we're trying to compare ourselves to, you know, a, a, a superstar, an actor, an actress, right? Somebody that quote unquote, has it together, right? Even though no, nobody has it together. One of the really things that I, that I thought about that's really quite, kind of been my, you know, um, you know, just exploding moment, right? My, kind of my light bulb moment was a quote that I read is that there is always somebody that is dreaming of your life, right? Somebody wants what you have. There is somebody out there. There is, I would say, I would say there is multiple somebody's out there that is just, that, that would give everything that they have in their life right now to, to have the problems that you have, right? To have, your worst day is somebody else's dream day, right? Somebody dreams, and, and, and it's nothing more than just think about it right now. I don't know a number off the top of my head. I don't even know if you can, if you can count that, but the amount of people that are on their deathbed right now, right, that are in the hospital being told that they have, you know, a week to live or, or a few days left to live, right? I can promise you that whatever the worst thing that's going on in your life right now is probably better than having a week left to live, right? It's, it, the, let's get real here, right? If, unless you just had somebody in your family pass away or you yourself are about to pass away or have some, you know, weird degenerative disease, chances are you're not, <laughs> you're bet you're doing better than somebody that's about to die, right? So that's where you just need to, to get the negative out of your life. And it's not going to be easy. It is not. It is so much easier for us to think negative about, to, especially about ourselves, than it is to think positive. So that's why, actually, one of the, there's two things that I really like doing that have really helped me. Number one is to make a gratitude journal. And this is really something that you need to be thinking of more than anything. Because until you are thankful and grateful for what you have, there's no way that you can come into more. There's no way that you can become more 
And that's, that's just the way it is. That's just the law. That's how it works, right? So start being grateful for what you have. And not only that, but, you know, it, <laughs> right? The, you, there's so much in our lives to be grateful for. And we just don't even, we, we just take it for granted. We, take, we don't take it into consideration. I mean, you know, right now, there's people in the world that are literally choosing between paying rent and putting food on the table, right? So they are literally starving in order for them to have a house over their head. And, I, and that, that's what I mean, right? But even that, they have a house over their head, right? They have clothes to wear. They have, you know, some sort of ability to provide for themselves, for their family, right? And that's something to be grateful for. Also, you think about all the stuff that put in that put into it, right? You know, this this bed that we have right here. There's a, somebody that that thought of the idea, grateful for that, that put the the uh, the material together. Somebody grew the 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 rubber tree to make the material, and then cut down the tree to make it into the material, right? So that's you know, there's so many things to be grateful for, and it's it's one of those things that we have to go out of our way to really understand that until we are really grateful for what we have, there's not too much more that we can get in our lives because we're always just thinking negative, right? And if we're always thinking negative, chances are, right? Maybe, maybe not, but chances are negative things are going to keep happening in your life. And if you start thinking positive right now, maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm, you know, completely off, off my haywire here and I'm, I'm not onto anything, but I can promise you that if you continue, if you have been thinking negative and negative things have happened to you, try thinking positive. Right? I don't know. Try it. Albert Einstein defined insanity as doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. So if you're expecting different results and you completely and you continue to be a negative Nelly and, a, and you know, just put everybody down and say bad things about yourself all the time, chances are you're not going to really grow into a very nice person or somebody that has an open view towards the world. I don't know. May, like I said, maybe, maybe I'm off my rocker here and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Side note, half your body weight in ounces in water per day. It's a nice little, I guess, guideline to hit. <clears throat> Number three, question yourself. Ask yourself questions. What makes you happy? What do you like to do? What do you not like to do, right? What, do, what brings you pain? What brings you pleasure? What brings you happiness? What brings you sadness? Do you like to sit down? Do you like to stand up? Do you like to make people laugh? Are you a very serious person, right? Do you want a house? Do you want a boat? Do you want seven cars? Do you want a helicopter? Do you want to live in Canada? Do you want to live in the US? Do you want, right? <laughs> How many times have we actually asked ourselves these questions, right? This is not something that we do in our lives because we have so much other things go on the go, right? So if we don't ask ourselves these questions. How are we really supposed to figure out what, who we are and what we and what we want and you know what's good in our lives and what's bad in our lives? Yesterday we talked about, um, or sorry, the last the last uh, episode we talked about stop needing other people's approval, right? So if we question ourselves, how are we supposed to know what we want versus what other people think we want if we're not asking ourselves these questions, right? And this. Just, these are questions that we ask ourselves, but it doesn't mean we can't ask other people. Hey, what do you think about me? What do you, or what do you think about you? Right? What do you want to do? And, and that, and that's something too. Could that's something cool too? Because we're not always. We don't know what we don't know, and we don't have the same thought processes as other people. So therefore, we don't even really know if there's something that we like. <clears throat> that we can't think of because we don't know what we don't know and we don't have the same thought processes. So somebody else could have this really cool idea as to what, you know, they want for their life and, and, and how they're going to get it and, you know, all sorts of things going on and you don't even think about that because you don't have the same thought process. But once they say that, you're like, man, that's cool. I can get behind that, right? That seems like something that would be interesting to me. I don't know, right? So. 
That's also another thing too. We need to question other people. Ask them about what they're thinking about. I promise you they won't be able to know, right? As much as you don't know what you want, other people aren't just sitting there going, man, I'm so glad that I've got everything that I always wanted and I'm the, the most amazing person in the world and I'm the person that I wanted to be since day one. I can promise you that there's not that many people out there that are like that. So. The fact that you don't have it all together is is not unique to this world. That's all I'm saying. And the fact that you can't figure out these the answers to these questions is not unique to you either. There is so many people out there that can't find the answers to these questions. And my last tip more than anything is to find a coach. Right? Find somebody that can help you out that has been that that sort of, you know, that been there done that type person that, you know, can help you organize your thoughts. I just said it before, right? There's it, it, you got a to-do list longer than you can even see, right? And and that's it, right? Life's hard. And really, if, if we could do it by ourselves, we probably would have done it already. And that's where I, I'd suggest, right? A certified life coach like myself, um, you know, if, if I, I, I would definitely recommend booking a free consultation. It doesn't have to be with me, but I would definitely recommend booking a consultation Mine are free, um, and just to just to see if this is something that 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 is interested that is you're interested in, um, you know, finding help, asking for help. For me, I I can tell you that you know, asking for help. <clears throat> some people think that it you know it makes you a loser, or you know it makes you uh, you know the, who are you to ask for help? Like you should have it figured out. And I can promise you that that asking for help does not make you a lesser person. It actually makes you a stronger person because you're admitting that you can't do it by yourself. And life is hard, right? If, we don't have no answer. What, who is our answer? Our answer is Google, right? Anytime we need to do something, we Google the answers, right? So that's where consider, you know, reaching out for help for somebody for somebody that ha that is a professional and can actually help you. Um, you know, that, that actually, you know, maybe they can't, but maybe they can help you organize your thoughts, organize your life, and step into a new great reality. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils, how to get your hands on some of the cool stuff that I'm talking about, booking a free consultation with a certified life coach, definitely reach out to me, drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and an even better week ahead, and I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.